Hi, I'm Joey Davila, and welcome to Developer Junior. This is the show where you'll find out how to get started in the world of software development and have some fun along the way. Hey, Joey, what's up? Oh, wow, cameras are everywhere. Are we doing the show today? Hey, Junior, yeah, we are. Oh, cool. I'm so excited about this. You're going to show me a bunch of things that will help me to program my own video games, right? Yeah, all kinds oh, of crazy awesome. things. Cool. Let's get started. What are you going to show me? Today, I'm going to show you Kodu, which is a game programming system. It lets cool. you make your own video games without all the hassle of crazy, complex com computer programming languages. Wait, do I need to know math? Nope. Oh, that's great. All you need is an idea for a game. Oh. You can program it with a keyboard and mouse, but I much prefer to use an Xbox 360 controller. Oh, I have ideas for games and controllers. Yeah, well... I'm a programmer. Yes, <laughs> you are. And with Kodu, it's pretty easy. And Kodu, you can download for the PC for free, or if you've got 400 Xbox points, you can download it into your Xbox. So, uh, do you want to try a really simple yeah. programming exercise? I can learn to program today? You can learn to program in a couple of minutes with Kodu. Wow. So, let's take it out for a spin. What we've got right here on the screen is a simple tutorial where we're going to try some really simple programming. Uh, look there on the left side of the screen. It's a flying it's Kodu. acorn. Yeah, that's Kodu. He's oh. a robot. Yeah, he does look like a flying acorn. Hey, Kodu. And uh, on the right-hand side of the screen, we've got a castle. Uh -huh. And uh, this programming exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to program Kodu to move towards the castle. Go to the castle, Kodu! Fly! You can do it! And notice that that didn't work. And uh -huh. that's because Kodu doesn't respond to verbal commands. What but does he to respond programming, to? To programming, huh. which he can do with the Xbox 360 controller. Let's try programming Kodu really yeah. quickly. Yeah, let's do that. How do we do that? All right, well, I'm going to use uh, the uh, Xbox 360 controller. Get into programming mode right here. That looks really simple. It is. And wow. I'm going to select Kodu, and here we have the Kodu programming screen. They've already provided a couple of lines of code for us. It's just uh, these lines of code tell Kodu to, you know, sprout out some hearts and say some stuff. So that's already there. What we want to do is program Kodu to move towards the castle. So oh, we're going to okay. do that right now. So it says when and do. Does that mean, what does that mean? The idea behind programming Kodu is when something happens, do something in response. Oh, that sounds really straightforward. Is that just all programming is? Uh, a lot of programming, what they call event-driven programming, is done that way. Wow. So a lot of video games and a lot of Windows programs, you do it that way. That sounds real. That makes a lot of sense to me, Joey. Yeah, and when you boil it down, it's that simple. Wow. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, Kodu, when you see the castle, move towards it. Right. Yeah, so, he's got to go toward the castle. Yep. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pencil cursor here, and I'm going to click on it, and we see a menu of all kinds of options. Whoa, uh, you know, that so Kodu, much stuff. Yeah, that Kodu reacts to. So we're going to pick C from the menu. So when Kodu sees the castle. Oh, so when he sees something, then so something need, happens. Yeah. So I need yeah. to specify when, what, what it is Kodu sees. In this case, there's a whole bunch of things Kodu can react to, some oh. other robots. Oh, there are other robots? Yep, there are other robots, wow. all kinds of things in the Sick. game. Yeah. But what we're going to do right now is respond to some of the objects in the game. So I'm going to put objects from the menu. Oh. oh. And then factories see, and factories, stars. Factories, rocks, trees, wow. stars. I'm going to pick castle. Right, that makes sense because we want him to go toward the castle. Yeah. yeah. So right now we have when Kodu sees the castle. Now we need to program the do part. Yeah, so he has to move toward it. How do you make him move toward it? Well, we move the pencil cursor over to do. I'm going to hit the A button here. I've got a whole bunch of actions Whoa. here in the menu. Turn, eat, shoot, combat, that kind of thing. Combat? Combat. <gasps> we'll do that I in a later combat. show. We'll do it in a later show. Oh, wow. Focus, I can't wait. Junior, focus. All right, all right, all right okay. So, okay. anyways, yeah. Okay. We're going to pick move right now because we wanted to move towards the castle. So, I'm going to pick move from the menu. And I need to specify which direction to move. So, I pop uh, up the menu. Uh, toward, toward, toward. Yeah, that makes sense. And you know what? Let's have him do it quickly. Okay. So, I'm going to pop up the menu again. And quickly is the option I pick. Oh. Wow, that is so straightforward. And guess what? We're done programming. No. Yeah. Really? Wow. Well, let's take the game out for a spin now yeah, that we're done. Yeah, this is so exciting. So I'm going to go into the menu, select play, hit the A button. And this time, instead of Kodu standing still doing nothing, he's, he's making a beeline straight towards the castle. Run, and Kodu! And the castle's also programmed <gasps> to shoot off fireworks and display ah, the winner screen. Ah, I like fireworks. That's amazing. Isn't that great? And That's not fantastic. only that, 
I bet you like programming now because <sighs> you just wrote your first program. Wow. No, really? I'm a programmer now? You are a programmer wow. now. You just wrote your <sighs> first line of code and made a working program. That's amazing. That's so great. Can we blow stuff up with it? Uh, maybe in a future show, but yes, you can. Okay. Well, hey, I want to use this at home. Where can I go get this? Well, you can get your own copy of Kodu by going to devjunior.com slash Kodu or by going to devjunior.com slash episode one. Check out the show notes. We'll have links to it there. Cool. I'm going to tell all my friends. Hey, can we share this with each other? Yeah, you sure can, Junior. We'll put a link in the show notes with instructions for sharing files with each other. You can do it with a PC version. Oh, wow. That's so great. Can our viewers send us their games? I'd love to see uh, games created by our viewers. Yeah. Uh, once you know how to save your files and where to get the file from, send your files to us at feedback at devjunior.com. We'll show off our favorite Kodu programs. Yeah, that'd be great. And you know what? Also, if you've got ideas for future shows, send them to us there yes. uh, using that same email address, feedback at devjunior.com. Awesome. Thanks, Joey. This has been great. Well, that's it for Developer Junior. I'm Joey Davila. And I'm Junior. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>